Marcus Conte reporting on the latest in election fraud. Election fraud? Election fraud. We don't have we don't have election fraud in our country. The elections are fair. This is a a thriving democracy, a, a pillar of honesty and integrity around the world. Our our elections are free and fair, right? Well, I told you, I told you, we have to expose it. As it comes down the pike, as it comes down the tube for 2020, we have to catch the election fraud as it starts to unravel. Now, we know plenty about the Democratic rigging of the primaries. We know all about that stuff, right? Or do we? Right? You remember in 2016 when 200,000 voters were, were purged off the rolls in Brooklyn, New York alone and... Two million votes in California weren't even counted in the primary right at the end of the uh, primary season. You remember all that stuff? You remember when the exit polls didn't match, when the exit polls were off by more than 15, 12, 15 percent throughout the country and all the caucuses where the, the, uh, the uh, uh, elections and voting were visible, where people actually raised their hand and voted, Bernie Sanders won by 80 percent in the in the places where Hillary Clinton, where the uh, where the voting machines were, were shut down and you couldn't see the vote, Hillary Clinton won by 80%. You remember all that stuff in 2016? So we got to catch it now, right? Because it's happening again. It's happening again. And here we go. So here we go. Computer glitches. It's just a glitch. It's just an accident. Relax. Relax. We're on it, right? That's what the Democrats want you to believe. So computer glitch wiped out thousands of voters' party preference in the Bay Area election, divisions say. Let's find out. Let's see if it's just an accident. Maybe it's just an accident. Maybe it's just a glitch, and they're going to restore everything the way it's supposed to be. If you're registered to vote in Contra Costa County, make sure to check your voter registration status sooner rather than later. In a press release sent out by the Contra County Elections Division Tuesday, Voters were cautioned that during the 2018 rollout of the automatic voter registration system, quote, some voters' party preferences were overwritten. <laughs> As such, individuals who are registered with a party may have, to, may have been swapped to no party preference. Ah, oh, man, they did it again. So how many people did they do? So what they did was all the registered, the newly registered Democrats, registered Democrats, Young people, right? And they, they vote for, they, they register as a Democrat. Why? Because of Bernie Sanders. Right? To vote for Bernie, vote for, vote for the progressive candidate. Right? So what do they do? They wipe them. They wipe them to no party preference. Meaning what? It means that they can vote in the Democratic primary. Ah, they win again. They win again. They're using California to see, see? California is not progressive. California doesn't want Bernie Sanders. Look, he lost to Joe Biden. Uh, or he, it was so narrow. Uh, that's what they're trying to do. And this is how they're doing it. They're rigging. So to all the people that think that the elections are swung by um, uh, voter fraud, meaning that Mexicans jump over the wall and vote and then jump back over the wall, or they're just illegal immigrants and they're voting for somebody that, that is uh, that 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 in itself swings an election. That's not that's simply not how it works. It's your own people. It's your own party. It's your own government ripping you off, ripping off, silencing your voice. As of April uh, 2018, any California resident, unless they opt out, is automatically registered to vote when they register a car or get a license from the Department of Motor Vehicle. So California allegedly has uh, automatic voting. Good. That's a good thing. We like that. Uh, being listed as no party preference means would-be Democratic voters would have to issue voting, issue, would have issues voting in the upcom upcoming Democratic presidential primary schedule for March 3rd. That's Super Tuesday. Right? That's why they pushed California up, up front. Right, so that they could they, that the cheating this is, I told you this six months ago that California would be the cheating would be the hub of cheating the Democratic stronghold the cheat the master cheat would happen in California I was right again Conti right again so uh, although no party preference voters are allowed to vote in Democratic primaries in California 
a vote by mail ballot must be specially requested from the voters county elections office <laughs> so that means that if if your name is purged off the rolls and you didn't you didn't hear this breaking story that you wouldn't know to request a mail in ballot and guess what your vote don't count you're going to get to the polls uh, you're gonna you're gonna sign in or whatever, and your vote just doesn't count. Right? So how many votes are they are they purging? Right? They're making it impossible, right? Impossible. Just restore the people to the party that they were registered as, or just make it an open primary. Just make it an open primary. Anybody can vote. Anybody can vote. What a what a novel, what a novel idea that you can walk in and vote for whoever you want. What a novel idea. Anybody in the, in the state of California can walk in and vote for whoever they want. Doesn't that sound right? No, because they, that's, not how they want it to, that's not how they want to roll. That's not how they want it to roll. The Republican Party does not allow no party preference voters to vote in their presidential primaries. Well, who gives a shit? Who gives a flying fuck about the Republican primary? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they got Donald Trump. We're hopeful that the voters take the opportunity to look at their registration status now rather than after ballots are mailed in or on election day. Acting, acting register of voters, Deborah Cooper said. Bull fucking shit. Right, so there's the cheating. There it is, as, as clear as day. NBC Bay Area reports the issue could affect tens of thousands of registered voters. Pew reported in October that the DMV found that found over 100,000 registered registration errors from the automatic system some of which were were this party overwriting issues so there you have it evidence on the ground of the democrats cheating it's just an accident it's just a mistake we upgraded the machine and it glitched out everybody how convenient it threw out all the new the new progressive democratic voters in the area, in a very liberal area of San Francisco. Right? It's, just, it's just an accident, right? It's a total, a total accident, right? So, um, so there you have it. Is it just isolated? Is it just in California? Let's find out. Let's find out. What else? So computer glitch voters uh, changes party affiliation. Where's this? Oh, this is, okay, this is another one for the Bay Area. All right, so it's breaking news. The news is all over the place. What is this? Glitch affects 7,000 new voters in Passaic County in New Jersey, too. Passaic County, New Jersey, 7,000, right? So you just do the math, right? This is all the ones we know about. This is all the ones we know about because you know the, the voters in, for example, New York are going to get fucked again. Uh, they do it. They're doing it because there's no change. There's nobody got caught cheating. They got caught cheating and nothing happened. There's no consequence to the to the actions. The guy that that purged two hundred thousand votes in in New York felony felony of, of election tampering. No consequence. Nada. Still has his job. Still has his job. Not even disciplined. Uh, felonies. So it's here, here, here's a little evidence of uh, more, more voter fraud, election fraud, excuse me. Election fraud is when the government and the, uh, the municipalities are doing it to you. They're defrauding you, making a fake election. Voter fraud is when they say, oh, I voted twice in a state, which doesn't happen. It doesn't, it happens maybe three or four stupid people would do something like that. That's not how, that's not what swings elections. This is what swings elections. E election tampering, tampering with the machines. That is now evidence, evidence that it is in fact happening again. And the primary target is California, California. So, he, oh, look, in Pennsylvania too. Oh, my God. A Pennsylvania County's election day nightmare underscores voting machine concerns. Oh, it's just a concern. The <laughs> New York Times reporting. Uh, Easton, Pennsylvania was a few minutes after the polls closed here on election day when panic began to spread through the county election offices. Total vote totals in a northern, uh, a New Hampshire, <laughs> 
Northampton County judges race showed one candidate, Abby Cassie, a Democrat who uh, had just 164 votes out of 55,000 ballots across more than 100 precincts. Some machines reported zero votes for him in a county which the ability in a county which the ability to vote for a straight party ticket zero votes was a near statistical impossibility. Something had gone quite wrong. Really, something had gone quite wrong. So that's three areas, California, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey so far. Let's see what else we can find out. Shasta County. What's Shasta? I don't know. What the fuck going on? Shasta. Oh, California. California. Some voters in Shasta County have reached out to the Action News uh, now to say they are mad. Why are you mad? They're claiming that their party affiliation has disappeared and they are now considered non-party affiliated. So that's four examples. I don't know if Shasta is the same as uh, the, the, the Bay Area. What do I know? I don't know. I'm just some jerk off that, that reads the news online. I don't know anything, man. I'm just a dumb dumb, right? Oh, while you're here, kindly, kindly, uh, I keep forgetting to say it, but subscribe. If you're watching this on Marcus Conti, uh, my uh, my uh, main channel, kindly go down to the box below and click on Marcus Conti News because I'm not gonna do uh, I'm not gonna do videos on this channel anymore because it's shadow banned. So we're gonna move all the people over to Marcus Conti News. If you're watching this on Marcus Conti News, spread it around and thank you very much for already uh, uh, for being there. We need over a thousand subscribers to monetize the channel. Right now we have 700 and so. It keeps clicking up, but we need to get over 1,000 quickly so I can monetize the channel, and then this channel will become an archive channel, an ar just strictly archive. So California, let's continue. So uh, California DMV accidentally re-registered uh, re hundreds of voters as non-affiliated. It's just crazy, man. It's just on and on and on. Iowa, look, Iowa. Iowa's 2012 election problem, uh, a window, election problem, a window into ongoing voter dysfunction. County audits contends. An Iowa election, that's the, first, that's the first one too, man. They're probably trying to rig that shit too. An Iowa election reporting delay that occurred the night Barack Obama won a second term underscores longtime and ongoing dysfunction in the state's voter system. At a bare minimum, right? Because of the uh, software crash, results from 126 state house races were delayed and the balance of the power in Iowa legislation remained unclear until the day after the election. Oh, how did that happen? It was just an accident. I guess that was just an accident too. A, ho a holdover from the hanging shad debacle is making, its, making it harder to secure voting systems. Ooh, Voting machine certifications are supposed to secure that no one can mess with an election. But in reality, they are holding security back. Ah. Uh, Northampton County, Pennsylvania. Oh, so this reiterates. About 55,000 votes were cast on newly purchased electronic voting machines, but only 164 votes were registered for the Democratic candidate. God damn it. God damn it, that's 50,000, 200,000, 300,000. Marcus County reporting on election fraud. Because that's what it is. Man. The, 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 the machines are rigged. They did it in 2016. They're doing it again. Nobody cares. All the pundits on, on uh, YouTube and on mainstream media are talking about fake polls that don't matter. They're talking about uh, the debates that, that, nobody, that, that are rigged and, and stacked heavily. They're not talking about the reality of it. Why are you talking about the the incremental differences in polls when you, when you have to, you should be talking about the the overt, obvious, and incredibly obvious? I said that twice. Uh, 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 evidence that the elections are rigged, that they're doing it again. A hundred thousand, two hundred thousand votes in California primary. God damn it, they're doing it again. Ah, Marcus Conte reporting. 